So, D is asking a question. Thoughts on protests against uh, Nigerian election results? So, yeah, yeah. The, people are questioning the results of the recent um, election yeah. in Nigeria. Have you heard of this? I, yeah. just, I just looked at this the other day very quickly. And it was very, it was, there was a couple of different things that were interesting because, uh, what's it was Muhammadu Buhari, I think was the guy that would just got out and the guy who won was, you know, had very vocal support for him. And, um, yeah, it's, it's definitely interesting to see what some of the critics are saying. Um, Nigeria often has elections that are close from my memory. And there are oftentimes people that argue about the, you know, free and fair aspects of it. I think the last couple of elections, again, just from my memory off the top of my head, which I'm not I'm not saying, you know, any great memory on that. But I think the last few times they have actually opened them up to international third party, like, you know, vote watcher people, like the same organizations that run around everywhere else and do that. And they they signed off on them as saying like, hey, these, you know, seemingly were not rigged and stuff. But there have been some criticism that the um, the guy who won, which unfortunately I just don't remember right now, um, is it kind of has this entitled sense about himself. Like his campaign slogan was literally like, "It's my turn." So that's yeah, a little okay, interesting. So so Nigeria's ruling party candidate Bola Tin Tinubu, is that how you say his name? Oh yeah, has won, I would know. Just has won, yeah, has won the presidential presidential elections with fifteen point uh, two million votes, while his main rival Atiku Abubakar of the PDP got eleven point three million votes. However, some opposition parties have rejected the results and staged protests in Abuja and other cities alleging widespread mm -hmm. rigging and violence. Um, they have called for a new vote or a cancellation. Um, but what has, what, why are they saying that there was a rigging? Is it just because they didn't like the results? I mean, again, I would, I would say from my memory, not, you know, definitely not, um, an expert on this folks so please you know look it up but from my memory this has been common accusations that have been leveled against the winner for years and the last mm -hmm. few times again buhari i believe is the one who was the president and, and and is now finishing up his term but if i remember during his election uh there was something very similar where people were like Bruh, like this isn't this isn't cool this isn't fair and then there were a couple of protests and ultimately it seemed as if the elections were, you know, met the mark, met the criteria. Like there's always some, there's always some screwy stuff that goes on in any election anywhere. But the question is whether or not it is enough to actually amount to anything of substance, right? You're always in every single election cycle, no matter where you go, you're always going to find some you know, sweet old man who kind of didn't understand the requirements and voted twice, you know, or wrote his name wrong or something, you know, like that's always going to happen. But mm. is there enough evidence in these particular elections to say that there was enough of that screwy stuff to, um, to actually be, you know, effective? So, and again, on that personally, I haven't seen anything just yet either way exactly other than hearing the allegations. So, so the reasons here, so the, some of the reasons are allegations of breaches of the electoral act and possible co collusion by INEC to, to doctor the result in favor of Bola Ahmed Tin, Tinubu. Claims of intimidation and violence against opposition supporters and electoral officials, accusations of manipulation of voter registration and card readers. Okay, so these are, and I also think I've heard somewhere that one other reason was that um, the the polls and the election results were kind of different. Is that one of the reasons, if I remember correctly? I think. Mm. But the po I don't know if that's a good reason because polls are not are hard to 
it's hard to get good polls in Nigeria, right? So that's not a good reason. Yeah. Oh, so D is saying there was widespread non-compliance to voting regulations, results um, res results not uploaded, and violence at voting venues. Yeah. You know, this is kind of messy. It's really bad because um, Nigeria's instability is really bad for the entirety of Africa. Oh, yeah. Nigeria has, Nigeria has so much potential yeah. and religious instability and political instability and radical groups are just not letting that potential unleash. Yeah. Yeah. So. And I, I just, just cause I was, I was continuing to look and I found apparently literally all of three hours ago, uh, yep. the United States, uh, state department released a, um, did a, did a press statement on this and they specifically say, uh, each of the top, this competitive election represents a new period for Nigerian politics and democracy. Each of the top three candidates was the leading vote getter in 12 states, a remarkable first in Nigeria's modern political era. Uh, we understand many Nigerians and some of the parties have expressed frustration uh, with shortcomings of the technical elements. Uh, we urge, uh, we join other international observers in it, urging INEC to improve in the areas that need the most attention. Um, but truly at the end of the day, this was this was a nothing burger of a statement. They didn't really say much on whether they believe that the, the allegations have you know credible information or not. You know, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I mean, I'm always a huge favor of opening up the elections for absolutely as much scrutiny, um, you know, and and transparency as we can. And if these, especially like the uh, things that D was just bringing up. If, if those are what's being said to have happened, yeah, that very much could have influenced the vote. So hopefully right. there will be more information. Get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.